In 1993, Ramsey Youssef and several co-defendants detonated a car bomb in the World Trade Center parking garage. Youssef then fled to the Philippine Islands. There, Youssef and co-conspirators planned to bomb American airliners. Youssef's prosecution in an American court came before the Second Circuit in United States v. Youssef. Youssef's goal was to hurt the American people and government for their support of Israel. Youssef tested his bomb by carrying it onto a Philippines Airlines flight from Manila to Japan. Youssef disembarked during a layover, and the bomb later exploded, killing a passenger. Philippine investigators located Youssef and his accomplices, but Youssef escaped to Pakistan. U.S. federal agents captured Youssef in Pakistan, then transported him back to the United States. Youssef faced charges arising out of the World Trade Center bombing and the airline bombing conspiracy. This brief addresses issues arising out of the airline bombing conspiracy. Youssef faced nine federal charges of conspiring to destroy aircraft under the administrative jurisdiction of the United States, to bomb American aircraft, to kill American nationals, and to kill Americans using a weapon of mass destruction outside the United States. Youssef moved to dismiss the charges, arguing that his prosecution exceeded statutory limitations, violated norms of international law, and violated the Fifth Amendment's Due Process Clause. The district court denied Youssef's motion, and a jury convicted him on all charges. Youssef appealed to the Second Circuit.